Hi, what's up, everybody? I'm in Maggie Valley at Wheels Through Time Museum. This is my friend Matt Waxler. What's up, y'all? I'm going to give you a little quick tour. I just want to show you because this is uh, this is pretty much the greatest motorcycle museum in all of America. It's all American made. Tell me all about it, buddy. Everything's American made and everything fires up and goes. So you have about 350 machines, uh, rarest motorcycles on the planet. So what you're looking at is one of a kind. <laughs> Factory racers. This Side note, we're raffling this off 1939. It's $10 a ticket, November 14th. We're gonna be pulling the raffle. 10 bucks, you get to play it. It supports, it keeps the lights on here, doesn't it? Month and a half, it could be coming to your garage. Boom, you know? so, boom. So it's, uh, boom. Inside the museum, you got rare, rare, and rare. So there's, again, everything's American. They all fire up and go. Big concentration uh, on the first half of the century. That's where your development was. It's where really, the, the rarest motorcycles were produced and where all the advancement was. So, 1909 Harley, 1909 Reading Standard Board Track Racer, one of a kind of motorcycle. Things breeze fire off the pipe. It's one of the loudest bikes in the whole museum. As you get deeper and deeper, original paint motorcycles, military machines, prototypes, experimentals, serial number ones, original condition stuff. This is a 1941 TA. This is one of your favorite bikes. I know it is. Original paint, serial number one prototype, type, the first one off the line. First one, man. It runs like the day it was built. So, Chopper Graveyard, kind of the bones of what used to be from the 60s and 70s. Actually, even got a uh, the Coke bike there, it was built by Ron Finch in the 70s. So, Walk super the piece like, of junk that you're giving me. This old beater is my, my dual car knucklehead. <laughs> so, it's pretty slow. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Harley Davidson 45s, so oh. paint motorcycles. This is right one of Jason's favorite oh. is the, the, this. the hill climbers. Not one, but back to back numbers. Original paint, one and two DAH. Look at all these hill climbers. There's still 20 of those, number nine and number 10. So the bikes on the hill are the rarest of the rare factory racers, national champions prototypes, a couple of Excelsiors at number three out of 24. This bike won a national championship in 1929, 1930. Here, listen to this thing go, Jason. This thing's bad to the bone. This is what we call a Knuth motor. FH2 cam overhead valves. This bike come out of Colorado. It's the only one known, likely the only one ever built, and it runs pretty well. Drag race and hill climber. So he I was know one of the motor gurus, uh, period, of, of any type. So, bro, big inspiration right here. You learn more about it, but this was uh, in one of the original cut downs, right? This is what kind of birthed the outlaw motorcycle. So, it's a 1925 California cut down built with a Harley Davidson. Another amazing gift that you gave me. It's so cool of you. <laughs> and then this, bro, the DAR. This is it. The neat, the neat part about these bikes is it's it's stuff that guys like us, we couldn't even get our hands on. So this is best of the best, factory employed riders, professional riders, some preferred dealers. The DAR here is a one of a kind motorcycle, 750 CC, 1929, alcohol burner, like 16 to one compression, 130 mile an hour motorcycle. If you can imagine, two inch tires, 130 mile an hour. on the wall, 1930s. This is probably 20s, right? Yeah, that, that's... Yeah, probably, that's, that's in the teens? Yeah, that's... The but this was out of the 30s. This is 1929 30. here. This is 29. This right here, number one, right? Yeah, when the in guys from Harley Davidson come here, that's the bike they flip out over. Serial number one, banked off, twin. So this bike started, uh, I should say, the cases are twin cylinder cases, but the bike was built at the factory with only one cylinder. So you get in a 500cc class instead of 1,000cc. One of kinds. Amazing motorcycle. One of my favorites here at the museum. Me too. Big valve obsess here, the red one with the bird on the tank. First bike to average 100 miles an hour. Look at this. Even when you're going, you turn, steering wheel. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> All right, you break your Someone, mind. someone, uh, <laughs> someone, uh, look at this. Someone should, uh, <laughs> 
going to fix that. Someone in this department is going to fix that. That wasn't me. That shit's old anyway. If it's 100 years old, what am I supposed to do about it? I'm horny. That's right, Phil. It's all right. You can't hurt nothing. Like that. This, this is what inspired me. So my boy made these these beautiful bikes he's cut down so the one that we saw over there this is his first it's 1916 i just took it for a ride and uh basically chopping up the jd frame and getting low getting low getting faster and uh this was like the first really the first chopper so you slept in here last night is this what you slept next to i slept next to those two girls <laughs> <laughs> the dar number one jack pine history more hill climb stuff. You got hey, bro, what's yard. that? That's super interesting. No, just keep going. <laughs> the dual carb knucklehead. Let's go. Let's go. You haven't even upstairs yet. No. So here, over on the other side, check this out. I want to show you the trog real fast. So, if you Google world's rarest motorcycle, this motor, this is what comes up. This machine. It's a 1916 bike was found behind a brick wall in a Chicago residential building. It's the only example known, it's the only example ever built. 80 cubic inches, bigger than any motor of the day. Side valve, twin cam. This bike's got incredible history, ties to Buddy Eakins, ties to Steve McQueen, possible ties to Von Dutch, but it's a mystery as to who actually built the motorcycle. It's one of the favorites here. People come from all over the world. It should fire right up. You, you mind if I fire it up? Yeah, but it's fire cool. it up. So, a couple of kicks and this thing ought to go. Man. So, one time. Man. recreation of a 19 teens era motorcycle shop uh, a lot of the stuff in here is from Ithaca New York there was a dealer back all the way back to 1908 or 9 Shaver's cycle shop in Ithaca a lot of the contents in here uh, came from Shaver's auction so when we rebuilt the museum or when we built the museum in 2002 here part of the, the the plan was to build old bike structures inside the building so this is a pretty much authentic recreation yeah, of a teens era cool. shop so, and all the parts really are fair game to be used on, on restorations and rebuilds and you name it. So. Yep, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. The 16, you drive it from the sidecar. It was really rad. Look at this. Original you condition. drive it from the sidecar. One of the kind, 1919, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, yeah, it's overwhelming. Hot rods and cars. So there's about 15 cars here, one from every decade. These are all 30, the 36s? These are some of the 36s? Yeah, those are 36s. <laughs> uh, this is actually my dad's first bike. This is what got this whole place started. It's Uncle Dale's first bike. Look at this one. Let me show you this. That's how amazing he is. He did this when he was 17. 15. This, your dad did this when he was 15. Why were you doing when you were 15? Bro, this is why you are the way that you are, and that's why this place is the way that he is, because he's 15 years old making this thing. Yeah. Look at this thing. This old cop bike run into a tree behind a gas station. You got you know, to learn about the The world loves you. Thank you for being here. Look at this. All right. Take it over there. Cannonball exhibit. So this is a coast to coast endurance racers. All the 36s? 36s and 36 spot heads, right? Yeah, so there's 36 and then 36 prototypes. Oh, this is a 36 prototypes? Yeah, they're, these are flathead prototypes. They come out with the UL and 37. These two are 36 eggs. So yeah, that's called a UX. They made six of them. That's some rare, rare There's rare, three rare. of them known today. They're all three right here. 
Wow. Yeah, pretty rad stuff. Look at that. There it is. LA made. Crocker. This is uh, it's one of the grails right there. That's the holy grail. Yeah. All of the Campbell. And there's, there's just more upstairs. There's so much more. But, you know, your father created this place. You're taking care of this place for generations to come and uh, helping support museums, especially in these tough times. I love what you're doing. You're doing a little raffle just to be able to help keep the lights on. So anything that I can do, I'm blown away. And I love what your, your dad's. I'm proud to have you here. Honored to have you here. Man. It's amazing. And they all kick over. Everything works. It ain't just sitting up there. They get out there and they write it. They work on it. The shop's in the back. It's amazing. It's one of a kind. That's love you, buddy. All about, man. Hey, dude. Thanks for coming. Check it out. Wheelsthroughtime.com, okay? Thanks, everybody. I love you.